To set up to pick up a buoy, first take a line to the forward cleat outside of the lifelines of the rails, go through the legs of the fore cleat and tie a bowline. Once you've done that, take the line outside everything back to the shrouds. Then set up for a lasso. The standard lasso the same as you'd use for a cleat. If you're not sure about that we'll make another video to cover the lasso. And now it's a simple job of the helmsman setting up. As you can see the wind's from our left. I'm going to leave myself with a little bit of wind from the left to make sure that I get blown onto the buoy and not away from it. So I'm not going to line up exactly into wind. The trick with coming to the shrouds means that I can see the buoy right until it stops. So at no point do we have to shout to each other where the thing is. Crew here, as you can see, Jill is just relaxed and waiting to throw the line. She's having to do nothing else. Being at the shrouds also means she's got something to hold on to if there's a bit of swell. So I'm going to go just a bit further from the buoy than I normally might to make sure we can see it on camera. Closure rate's quite slow, so the wind's just left of the bow. Once we stop, that wind will blow us onto the buoy, making it very easy to lasso. As you can see, it's a very slow closure rate because I'm able to judge it because I can see it. I'm not relying on shouts from the crew. And we can stop the boat with the shrouds right alongside that buoy. Let the wind just blow us gently on. And at her leisure, Jill will lasso. If you're single-handing, you can do exactly the same cheat, but do it at the helm. So bring the boy right back to the helm position and lasso from there and then walk forward. She now takes the line back to the bow, the free end, takes a turn around the forward cleat just in case it starts to get tight on her and then she'll pull the slack up and pull it through all the way. As the wind pushes the boat back and the current pushes the boat back if there's any, the boy moves towards the bow. Jill's just taking up the slack so she's doing no real work. She's just taking any spare rope out of the way. Once the boy is right underneath her, she'll simply oxo it off on the cleat. And then we can, at our leisure, thread a line through the eye. As you can see, there's been no shouting, no waving of hands, no excitement, nice and calm. And it works every single time. 